Hey, welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is Monday, January 18, 2021. And I just, I just, uh, in the previous video, I just read some data directly in from the CDC. This data is about uh, uh, COVID-19 deaths is related to age and sex and state, type of stuff like that. And you can see I'm using a simple read statement. This is the URL for the CBS portion of that data. You can see I'm also loading up some libraries here. Okay, so let's do this now. Let's take a look at this. So let's do this here. Okay, let's do this one more time. So, date as of the week ending date. So we're interested in the week ending date, okay? So now's where, now's where deep power comes in. First thing we're gonna do is, we're only gonna pull out the fields that we want. We're gonna say, Eight, comma, week ending date, comma, these are our lowercase, eight, Group, comma, deaths, comma. Now, total deaths. What I've been able to determine is every single, every single death that involves some type of disease, whether it's heart disease, cancer, diabetes, COVID nineteen. Total deaths includes all those numbers. Okay. Now, what else can we do here? Let's come back here now. And let's try doing some renames. Well, you know, in this case, you're actually better off because you go over and rename every single one. You're better off doing a... Uh, You're better off doing a call name because you, because you're, if you were only doing, okay, you might, you might as well. Just name them all. Total deaths. Okay, so let's try this now. Now let's run this. Okay, so why did that do that for? Actually, you don't do that. You simply do this. Okay, now we got to come over here. Okay, so it's DF colon date, because what you can see here, the date also includes a date stamp. 
So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Four plus three is seven plus three is ten. So we need to use substring function. Let's take a look at the documentation for substring. Should be pretty straightforward. It should be comma one comma ten maybe. And there we go. So next we got to come back over here and do a date. So now it's a date. Okay. Sex is character. All right. So now let's do our first report. So now let's do a second report. Well, we're, go, we're already going to pull the data that has. And in all ages, let's try this now. So these, of course, all the United States. This is the date. Well, so at this point, we don't need. We aren't really concerned about this, but let's do this. Let's calculate that for all, all underscore, we're going to calculate mortality rate of, we're going to divide COVID-19 deaths by all. Okay, and this should give us a percentage now. Okay, so we, we this should tell us this should get this should tell us. This should tell us what's that? For what? Eh, it could, I suppose, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. Let's see. I don't think so. I find it very hard that Italy would care about our election. Italy had nothing to do with it. Come on. Maybe China. Why, did, why would Italy care? They got their own, got the problems of their own to worry about us. China certainly, maybe Iran, but China's the, China's the problem. Okay, D A T E, comma. Y equals R-A-T-E. 
So let's run this report here and see what we can get here. Okay, good. So this should be the percentage of deaths. So what this means is, well, let's do one more thing here. Let's use the scales function to format the X lab, the X labels, okay? Underscored Y, underscored continuous A, B, E, L, S equals, okay? Okay. This one for you, David Robinson. Disease. Let's just run this from the top and see exactly what happens. Okay, so here we go. Let's zoom in on this one. So what we see here is uh, currently this is interesting. Let's take a look back up here at this. You know what the problem might be here is? You know what the problem could be here is the, the uh, now this is interesting. It could be that uh, Let's take a look at the, the DB here. It could be that for whatever reason, the API is lagging behind by, by six months. Because we know we, we know that we had more dust in this, okay? Well, this is this is kind of disappointing. Okay, uh, I know for a fact that. So that so that, so at this point, what you have to do is, we would have to try to come back over here. So one more time, I just want to say it again that this is not a complete data set. For whatever reason, the API isn't being updated. I don't understand why. Okay. But nonetheless, you can still see this is, this is still a pretty good demonstration of how you can use the API to download download data and how you can uh, do a little data cleaning and data running on the date and do basic plotting. Okay. So I'm going to conclude this video at this point simply because, well, the, we don't have a complete data set. But anyway, I hope this, hopefully this does 
help you a little bit, give you an idea how to do a little data cleaning and stuff like this. Thanks so much for your time, and we'll catch you on the next report.